The CODIS software is automatically launched to this blank gray screen once you've named your project. Go to File, New to start a new application. The target setting box will appear. This is where you tell CODASYS what level of control you have on your Compax 3. I will choose T30 and click OK. Immediately, a new POU box appears. A POU is a program operating unit. They are the building blocks of your application. One POU always has to be a program. That is the main element of your application. Each additional POU can be composed of a function or a function block, but always make sure your first POU is a program. Now I will keep the name PLC underscore PRG and I'll make sure that the program is selected here and CFC is the code we will use for our sample application and I will click OK. I'm not going to discuss codices or programming in detail here. I will, however, develop a very simple program so input 0 will turn on output 0 to show you the process. I will explain as I go, but remember there will be a more detailed programming lesson later in the series. For now, I will expand this window. I will click on the box icon at the top of the screen and move my mouse off the box. I will right click again to place the box where I want it. I do not hold the mouse down during this entire process. Notice the AND box appears. This is always the case, a generic function block. I will repeat this process for my output block. I will now click once on the AND and highlight it. I will hit the F2 button. This box appears. The third row down is standard function blocks. I will click on it. I will now select the second function library on the right hand side and find the IOC3 folder to find my input and output function blocks. I will select C3 input function block and click OK. I will click my mouse anywhere on the screen for this to take effect. I will repeat the process for the second block. Hit F2. Automatically, I am taken to the last place I was. Click C3 output, click OK, and there we go, our output function block. I will single click on the red question marks. This is where I name my function block. I will call it input. I type the name and the declare variable screen appears. I'll click OK because I don't need to do anything right here. I will repeat the same process for the output, enter, click OK. I will now connect input 0 to output 0 by right clicking here and holding the button down and dragging the line to output 0. A final click away from the line fixes it in place. We are done with this code development. I will now save this application as video training. Save as. I will call it video training. And click save. I will now go to the project and click build. I'm ready to compile. I will see at the bottom of the screen that I don't have any errors or warnings.